Hi guys, Chinese Mooncake Festival is one of the best moment that everyone can have a taste of this beautiful cake. But tonight, with my special assistant Rochelle, we're gonna cook a mouthwatering crackling pork. But this time we're not gonna cook with the oven, but we're gonna use this device, the Salad Master electric pan. Let's check it out. This pork belly is about 1.7 kilograms and today we're gonna cook this one with a very very simple seasoning using salt and pepper only but it make the meat really taste good first I'm gonna cut on the top layer of the skin you can cut it with the very sharp knife or very easy you can use this cutter and use the ruler to make it equal size like this or you can make it diagonally, whichever is convenient to you. Next step, we need to do seasoning to sprinkle some salt on the top layer of the skin. Darling, can you give me some salt, please? Thanks, darling. Make sure you can massage on the top of layer. When I'm cooking with salad master pan, I'm going to cut this pork into four pieces because I want to get the crunchiness to every side of it. For seasoning at the back, I'm going to use the uh, salt and pepper. Darling, can you get me the salt and pepper, please? And rub it up. All of the side. Usually, we're gonna keep this meat in the freezer overnight, but today we're gonna cook it straight away. We need to set it up this uh, salad master pan for the electricity use with these tools we need to set it up the heat approximately about 170 degrees and we're gonna cook it approximately about one hour I just put some extra minute just to warm it up this pan first before we use it five minutes should be all right it's easy to check the pan if it's ready or not by splashing some water. If you can see the water dancing inside there, that means it's hot enough and ready to cook. We are going to cook this meat without using any oil at all because the oil will coming out from the meat itself. First, we put it here. Skim up. We're going to cook this meat about 10 to 15 minutes. It depends how crunchy you want to cook this meat. And then we close it, the lid down, just to make sure we cannot get the oil coming out from the meat itself. You can see now the oil starts coming out. It's already 15 minutes. Now it's time for us to turn this one on the other side close the lid but not in full let it open a bit we're gonna wait another 15 minutes to cook on the other side of the meat look at this you can see all the oil coming out from the meat now for the last part we're going to cook on the top layer of the skin see all the oil coming up so we're gonna cook this meat with this it's on oil 
and we're gonna leave it for another 15 minutes but we need to increase the uh, heat up to maximum 230 celsius and we're gonna wait another 15 minutes to cook the skin to make it crunchy now our meat is ready let's have a look on it You can take it up now and it just needs to settle down for a while before you serve it. You can hear this is the sound of the crunchiness of the skin. Let's cut it. Look at this layer. Let's have a try. Mmm, so nice. This make your life so beautiful, my friend. <laughs>